John, I'm not interested in you being in my life or my family's life, so stop calling. Every second that you're here, the pain in my head grows sharper. Always a pleasant way to talk to your daughter. I came here to apologize for my recent actions. I didn't want your truce, and I don't want your apology. Joey is out of prison, and he no longer wants to speak to me. This could affect my relationship with my grandson. So, I've noticed the errors of my ways, and I want to mend the family. We're all long past forgiving you. Your son sees you as a murderer. Miranda sees you as something even worse. As for me, I wouldn't trust you around my great-grandson if it was my last day on this earth and you tried to kill me. You really believed that I was going to kill you? If you really believed that, you wouldn't have me over today. The only reason I let you in today was so that you can get the rest of your things and leave. So it's really going to be like this? You're dead to me. Fine. But I'll need the keys to the shed to get my stuff. I don't know where that key is. After all these years here, you don't know which key goes to the shed? No. Can you show me? Remember this little act, because it'll be the last thing that I ever do for you. 